and welcome to my YouTube channel, Snapshots Corner. It has been a while since I put out the video. Uh, that has natural courses. I have been a little bit ill, but you know, it's I'm much better now, feeling on top of the wall actually. Um, I looked in my rifle cupboard or rifle closet or uh, firearms vault or whatever you call it. Uh, it's of course lockable and it's right here. Uh, the other day, and I. I just asked myself a question. Why? How comes that I have uh, peep sights or aperture sights on five of my favorite rifles? And why do I like to shoot them so much? The answer is rather simple. This is a spoiler alert. The answer is really simple. Uh, with an aperture sight or a peep sight, you are able to have a better depth of field. I was a photographer for professional for almost 30 years and uh, that information is not a secret. It's uh, very easy because if you have a peep sight or a hole that you look through uh, you can you are able to fo put focus on your front sight and the front sight should always you should always try to keep that the sharpest and that's only natural because uh, depth of field uh, is best if you have like focus one third into the motif that you are taking pictures of and um, a peep sight or an aperture sight will help you greatly with that if I, the other rifles that I have that has open sights I use a peep on my glasses it's an aperture sight that you put on outside of your glasses I have a couple of those and I have a couple of glasses that I, I use as well I'll give you close-ups as I explain. This is my Krag Jørgensen Vintage 1896 original Norwegian uh, firearm Norwegian produced and uh, used by the Norwegian army up and including the Second World War First issued at uh, Oskarsborg uh, that's where uh, that's the coast fort that actually uh, where Blucher, the German warship, sunk when the Germans invited their, invited uh, in, invi invaded Norway in uh, the April days of 1940. Uh, but you can see it has an uh, peep sight or aperture sight, and this one is also adjustable uh, for a lot bigger or smaller apertures. A smaller aperture will give you better depth of field, but you know there is some limitations to peep sights, and that's the light. Uh, they also called iron sights, like on this replica model 1885 Winchester high wall. Uh, this has actually a Lee shaver uh, peep sight, and uh, it's adjustable for windage and elevation. I shoot this one with a, with a 3855 cartridge and it's a very nice rifle to shoot and one that I am I'm able to shoot accurately because of the pip sight. Then, not so very long ago, I traded with a friend of mine and I got this European hunting rifle or you might call it a kind of a European Jäger rifle. Uh, this. Uh, it's not a military copy, but it's a civilian copy. And this one has a post front and an aperture or peep sight as well. This one is adjustable in height and elevation. The height is maxed, maxed out, so I have filed the front sight a little bit. You can probably see that it's, it's rather uh, short right now, but it makes me shoot better than I did previously with open sights. And uh, this one uh, still misses uh, the filler for the uh, notch rear sight. On my 1885 I have already a filler for the notch rear sight. Then there is an original uh, 1906 Winchester 22 uh, long rifle, short or long. I have filled this one as well with a, with a brass uh, filler. It has a marble. Uh, peep sight adjustable as well but this one with this peep sight I can shoot uh, 
a little stamp at 25 yards or for 25 meters. It's a very good rifle. I have extended the stock a little bit on it. Then, at least but not the last, not the, the last but not at least, uh, my Colt original, Colt Vintage, Colt 1885, model 1885, produced in 1885. This is also one that I just acquired. But the ghost ring on the back here makes the front sight sharp. That's the whole idea with the ghost sights or peep sights or aperture sights. Increase your vision, increase your depth of field. This might be of help to some of you. It might be old news to others uh, and it might be uh, obvious to people who have shot uh, rifles for a while but when you're when you get to a certain age you get far-sighted and uh, your vision gets a little bit down uh, to install peep sights or aperture sights on your favorite rifles will help you a great deal I'm rather sure about that if you have comments on this or um, of course you are welcome to do that below and please if you have peep sights and you fancy them, please let me know. This is perhaps, as I said in the beginning, might be of help to some of you. To some others it might be obvious. Uh, but for me at least, uh, it helps me keep on with my hobby, which is shooting and what I enjoy very, very much. And um, using peep sights or aperture sights on my rifles is actually the best way to go but if you need to shoot a rifle with open sights an aperture on your glasses like this might also be a good investment or a good idea to keep you trucking with, on with your interest and your hobby and get lots of joy out of it that's it for this video please as all youtubers say down below there is like subscribe and comment section please uh, use that I will be very happy if you comment and also uh, if you haven't subscribed yet I will be very happy because it helps me out a lot so but my YouTube channel is not about getting a lot of subscribers I'm just happy if I can help a few and that's it and thank you now for watching and the thumbs up and uh, I'll see you all in the next video I'll turn up the music for now. Yeah.